What's up, you slasher-loving bastards, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I have a fantastically weird 80s slasher flick lined up for us. It is Jose Ramon Larez's 1988 just weird flick. It is Edge of the Axe, and whoo, let's get into the weirdness. Here is Edge of the Axe. Edge of the Axe is a ludicrously cheesy yet insanely enjoyable late 80s Spanish horror production, which takes a stab at presenting an American slasher flick with a pinch of giallo elements thrown into the mix for good measure. Lost in a weird and wild world of brutal slangs and weird characters, the film is a peculiar one to say the least, yet one that is ridiculously fun to watch and entirely off its rocker. Confusing, convoluted, and quite curious, Edge of the Axe is an outstandingly hypnotic horror effort that wears its brutally weird heart on its sleeve and is all the better for it. The film takes place in a quiet northern California mountain town where a series of grisly murders by the hands of a mad axe-wielding killer have begun happening, placing the tight-knit community into a state of unrelenting fear and law enforcement on the edge of a knife. With the bodies quickly piling up and the list of suspects growing by the day, will this sleepy town ever find peace? Or will the entire citizenry be hacked to pieces one by one by this unrelenting madman and his unforgiving axe? As with any good slasher flick, the cast of characters in this entry are ludicrously unusual and eccentric to say the least. From countless red herrings to bumbling heroes, the film is chock full of weird individuals and unusual players that it's actually quite hard to peg down a concrete list of essential performers in this bizarre production. Be that as it may, the true standouts and unusual personalities of this off-kilter production are Barton Falks as Gerald Martin, the peculiar computer nerd who's got the hots for an attractive local girl, Paige Mosley as Richard Simmons, Gerald's douchey friend and the absolute personification of a walking, talking hard-on. Christina Marie Lane as Lillian Nepps, a bizarre yet cute-as-hell young woman who begins to have feelings for Gerald. Fred Holliday as Chief Frank McIntosh, a slick-talking lawman who is constantly trying to downplay the ever-growing massacre. Patty Shepard as Laura Simmons, Richard's wealthy sugar mama who's having an affair with an odd mustache-wearing weirdo. And finally, Jack Taylor as Christopher Kaplan, a strange music professor and professional mustache-wearing weirdo. A total clusterfuck from each and every performer. The sheer oddness on screen is sometimes overwhelming, but always entertaining, leaving a lasting impression that definitely sets the mood and feel for the flick in the most strangest of ways. Matching the bizarre qualities of the cast, the film is a complete and utter trek into surreal nonsensical slasher territory, with killings happening at random and often to random characters that we haven't even been introduced to yet. It's a bit sloppy and unappealing at first, but gradually melds together as the body count continues to rise and the characters of the piece begin to spiral into blatant red herrings, which constantly dips the film into campy cringe quality making the production come off as more of a comedy than anything else. It's the bizarre atmosphere that the film conjures up that really sets it apart from other slashers of the era. Though there is a good amount of gore and bloody moments, which by the way are surprisingly competent and often excessive, it's the weird approach of the production that really takes center stage and consumes the runtime. You can tell that there is just something off about everything that is going on, and the fact that this is primarily a Spanish production trying to pass itself off as an American 80s slasher is extremely prevalent and almost unbelievably blatant, giving the film an otherworldly quality that truly exists in its own peculiar cinematic realm. The weirdness of the flick is tremendously appreciated to say the least, and the ultra-violent quality of the production is an added bonus that never gets tired or old. If you have an undying love for slashers of the 80s, or you just have a soft spot for obscure cinematic offerings, then you should definitely get a kick out of this odd little flick. In the end, Edge of the Axe is a strange little slice of slasher silliness that is as bizarre as it is fun. To the point, it's excellent. And there you have it, you wacky weirdos. 
that is the unbelievably bizarre and just totally unusual slasher flick that is Edge of the Axe. Just a really weird Spanish production that the cast is just weird. Uh, the premise weird. The execution weird. It's just weird. But guys, hope you enjoyed that one and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you all the next movie review. Take care.